So what's the difference between jazz and blues? However you came up with that question, today we're going to try and tackle the answer. And it's been baffling humans for generations. Well, no, not really. <laughs> there is a distinct difference between jazz and blues, and we're going to get into that in just a moment. Hey, it's Paul Toby here from jazzmental.com, and we're going to get started in just a second. <laughs> Okay, so let's dive into the difference between jazz and blues. And right off the bat, I'd like to make this statement. Jazz musicians play the blues, but blues musicians rarely play jazz. I think that's because there is probably a more learned perspective amongst the jazz musicians and they add more chords and more melodic things going on. And it's just a more, mm, if you will, learned style of music. And so that, that's just the first thing I wanted to throw out there. So, and the reasons for that are the following. First of all, blues is, when you play the blues, it's a simple 12 bar progression of chords. Jazz, it's 12 bars, but it's a much more complicated version. And I'm gonna show you the difference between the two. And, um, the jazz musicians tend to reharmonize a lot of the original blues progressions. So this is blues as a blues player would play it. You've got essentially four bars of F, well, in the key of F. So four bars of one, one bar, of, two bars of four, two bars of one, a bar of five, a bar of four, and a bar of one. And typically a, a blues musician would play that pretty straight ahead using straight eights. And then down here, and I'll just show this to you before we talk about the, the rhythm, the jazz musician, it's 12 bars, but it's much more filled out with chords. So there's more chords to get through, some reharmonization going on. So that, you can see immediately, that's kind of the main difference. So then stylistically, blues musicians would play this with straight eights, and it would sound, Something like this. And the same twelve bars from the jazz perspective, wouldn't necessarily be straight eights. It'd be more like swing, just kind of like this. Also blues, but obviously more notes, more swing, more chords. And so, you know, the blues musicians might play shuffle from time to time, kind of like. So yeah, shuffle, but a swing player, again, swing is a very distinctive thing with the walking bass line. So some other differences. Blues players, uh, uh, blues when it's played tends to have a singer and it's a very sultry kind of thing, um, very raspy blues, you know, like uh, a feeling of mellowness, um, down and dirty, 
you get the idea. I think we all know what blues sounds like. But then on the jazz side, it's kind of lighter and, and we don't really have lead singers for blues. If you look at jazz vocalists, blues is not one of those things that they tackle very often. So blues has more, more singers, jazz a lot less, even if they're playing the blues. So what is the most prominent instrument in blues, I think you guessed it. It's absolutely the guitar and it's electric and it's pounding and it's it's it throttled down, pedal to the metal, electric guitar. Um, many different sounds of electric guitar, of course, and each style is kind of their own. Uh, in jazz, the lead instrument can be anything. Piano, saxophone, could even be the guitar, acoustic guitar, could be trumpet, trombone, Again, I mean, you have your choice. So in jazz, like a, a jazz musician who's an, an instrumentalist can play the blues, but it would be from a more jazz perspective. Okay, so let's talk about key signatures. And this is an interesting one because if you go to a blues jam session and you go to a jazz jam session and you call a blues, the key signatures that those instruments are going to... That, those musicians are going to play them in is very different. For example, a blues jam session tends to be more guitar based keys like sharp keys like A, D, E, even C, which isn't really a sharp key, but it's kind of somewhere in the middle. Whereas jazz musicians prefer more flat keys because it works for all of the instruments because each instrument, of course, has its own tonal center like the E flat alto saxophone or the B flat tenor saxophone or the B flat trumpet. So there's this tonal center that tends to be more flat keys in jazz like F, B flat, E flat, and sometimes C, which is like I said, some somewhere in the middle. So for example, a blues musician would, would be playing straight eights in the key of A. jazz musician is, let's say, in F. at least that's what I'm trying to explain. So the main things are sharp keys for blues, flat keys for jazz, straight eights for blues, more drum bass driving rhythms that are straight eights. Straight eights meaning there's no sort of backbeat, whereas jazz is like on the end of the beat and that is the swing, where swing comes from. A jazz musician would be That's really the main difference is that sort of swing feel versus straight eight feel. And we talked about singers being more prominent in blues than in jazz. And we also talked about uh, the, obviously the, the more chords there are in jazz than in blues. They're adding more chords, they're doing uh, chromatic substitutions, tritone substitutions, they're just adding a lot more sort of dissonant totality, tonality to the entire piece. 
Hey, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, there's more videos just like this one over on jazzmental.com. If you haven't been there yet, on the homepage, there is a place where you can subscribe for notifications on lessons and workshops and masterclasses to come. So get on that list and you'll be notified. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this new channel here on YouTube as we're making continuous new videos just like this one. We hope you enjoy this one and everyone else to come soon. So my name is Paul Toby. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.